Hi guys. Uh, yeah, I uh, have the. Uh, let me hand hold it, otherwise this shit doesn't work. Um, yeah, I didn't. Have, I didn't get a boot. So this is what's going on. I think there's something broken. My CPU is just utter, utter crap. And uh, this is what I got. It's at default settings. See? Yeah, look. 3600. So what the fuck is going on, guys? I was stable in TM5, and now I get this. There's definitely something wrong. Uh, nothing worked properly. Like, I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? Am I too stupid to understand this? I mean, I don't know. You tell me. This are the, I will show you every fucking setting I have in this motherfucker. CPU configuration, here. You tell me everything, I do everything to make this work. But I think this is not doable. As I tried everything, I tried every voltage, lower, uh, higher. Uh, different uh, TRIs, a different this, a different that, nothing ever works. It's stable and until I do a reboot and then it doesn't. So, yeah, this is my RAM. This is the third motherboard. I refuse to believe that this motherboard is something wrong with it. I also exchanged a new PSU. I have the, as I said, the Seasonic Focus GX 1000, 1000 watts. So there's plenty of watts going through it. There's just something else. There's just something else just broken. 100%. I guarantee fucking see it. Look, this is the settings I'm using. See, I think it was a better idea to just film it because otherwise it's just way too complicated. I mean, this is, I, I think they made a huge mistake with uh, DDR5 because we guys on over overcock.net OCN are a very, 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 very small community and very small people actually have successes with it. You read more people with issues than with success with this, with this. and it has nothing to do with on every motherboard brand, on everything, AMD or Intel or AMD, yeah, that doesn't work anything. So anything above uh, above 6,000 is just a waste. But on Intel, it just doesn't work, man. It really doesn't. And I also tried a different contact frame. I tried the ILM, the stock ILM. I tried the contact frame. I tried every possible scenario. I think it's just better to buy a new CPU because the amount of time I took into this, if I get the money for it, I could buy like a hundred CPUs. I'm not kidding. I'm struggling with this for, I don't know, more than two years or something. And I can't really have enough. So maybe to the point I have to sell my complete system and buy a complete new system because there's definitely something wrong. This is not normal behavior. Here, these are all the settings. I will show you every setting I have enabled or disabled. Everything here is on auto. More settings, more settings. Auto, 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 auto. Everything is on auto. Yeah, even the boot times are on slowest. I disabled the fast boot. I mean, what else do you have to fucking do in order to make this shit work, man? Honestly, OC mode, because otherwise I couldn't go higher on the voltage. <coughs> Level 3, this is this, that. 1.25 IMC voltage, yeah, maybe a bit too high, but I will keep it at that because of these reasons. Any lower than this doesn't boot, doesn't do anything, just don't work. Just doesn't work, as simple as that. No way, no. Uh, these are the other voltages. It's a bit hard to read, but it's at 1.4. It's all in red. Uh, 
There's that. And this configuration I did not change as a voltage because at this speed I will think this motherboard will well will do it for me. As people said, uh, trust the board, and I trust the board, and this is the result. <laughs> Does it work? Okay, maybe it's the CPU. I don't know. Oh, here's the microcode revision 1.29. Well, I'm on the latest microcode. Ah, here it is also. So, yeah, that's it. Hyper threading, everything is enabled. What is enabled, everything is enabled. What should be enabled. There's nothing really weird going on here, and this is all not important. No, I don't. I'm gonna save it for now. This is my 8000. My 8000 just boots without any issue. It's only not stable. And yet I, I go here and it is just very weird. Uh, this is a 7800 stable TM5. I think that's a good naming for it so then that's where I know when something happened this is what I always do like I set a baseline then I otherwise it there's no end there's no end because if you have to uh, let the board calculate like some settings and then change them it, it's not difficult the difficult part is because my CPU probably is fucking garbage that's why I have to go to all these hoops and 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 crannies in order to make it work. I have to adjust the voltage 1.0.0.01 microvolt, whatever, uh, in order to make it work. That that's not doable, you know. It, it's way too sensitive. That there's no way in hell I'm gonna spend another week or another few weeks or what of months, whatever, a lot of time. Let me put it like this into this because this is not very rewarding. This is not gonna do anything for me. I had enough. I have a life next to this shit. I don't know how you guys do it, but yeah, very strange. But yeah, this was stable, so I don't know why it's not working. I think there's only the only reason is that my CPU is just broken. No fucking reason. This is also very cool. Though. Ah, fuck it. I don't want to talk about that now. But yeah, here the microcode is loaded. So what? What? What else? What what is else to do? I don't know. I cannot blame the board anymore. It would be very very <laughs> very weird if this board also would be. Uh, well, yeah, based on my luck, maybe it is. Bias default. I tested in, in uh, what was it, Benchmate, and I didn't see any higher than 253, so I can change to performance or baseline, but there's no need, really, there really is no need. Oh, CPU indicator, that's a good one. I don't know what it does, if it's even relevant, but there's no MC. Uh, I believe on the Asus ROG boards you have an MC calculator, something. And uh, our indicator, but uh, on this you don't. This is only for the cores, but this is useless because nobody overclocks the cores anymore. It's just just leave it at stock because there's no overclocking this shit anymore. The only the only fun, quote unquote fun, if you <laughs> can believe this is fun, is memory overclocking. But yeah, so yeah, that's uh, I don't know. This is an auto everything. Yeah, what's what's on auto should be on auto, and I don't change anything. <laughs> what I shouldn't change. So, see, th there's no weirdness going. This is this is perfectly normal. You know, you can play that to two. Why not? So, and if if this is if everything is a calculation, if this is calculation to some some other uh, tertiary timing. Then why do you adjust it? There's no need to adjust it. If it's a calculation, it's a calculation. You understand? I mean, how, el how else does this work? It's all calculations, isn't it? So if you put 48, you cannot put uh, 12 in, in some other timing or, or 14, whatever. 
you know it just doesn't work let the board do it but not none of the boards can do it properly because as i posted before i mean this board is is very close uh power down timing let me check where is it ah here's the training value turn around uh, i don't know what the, if this should be enabled or disabled i mean i think maybe to disable this because otherwise i have to put the other one as well what and all the timings are gone what the hell Oh yeah, it's auto. But yeah, this is, uh, you know, but sometimes these timings are way off. This is 10, but it should be 14. This is 8, this should be 16, 16, but it trains as 14. And even if I set it here, even if I set it here, in a training value, the runtime value will be different. Maybe that's an indication also. <laughs> Like, I posted screenshots of that, so I think. No, I did not. But this this is already taking so much fucking time. It's it's just... I don't know. I don't think it's doable to... Uh... Yeah, let's see if this boot... Still holding my gimbal, <laughs> but yeah, there's also no indication of like an, uh, a Q LED or a LED, whatever you know, a uh, postcode thing, whatever you want to call it. So, oh, yeah, this is my fan on the RAM. I cannot hear it, but it, it blows a lot of air across the whole 120. Uh, it's a pretty good fan, it's one of my best fans. It blows a ton of air, it's a good radiator fan, too. But I don't need it, I only hold. This one is better. Or it's already there. And I, I don't have to run push pull. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have a feeling that this also doesn't want to boot. But if you do slow boot in this BIOS, it really means slow. It takes forever to boot. But I really couldn't care less. If it's stable, it's stable, but yeah. <laughs> it should be stable. Okay, keyboard is coming on. And there's Windows. Yeah, it boots. But why in the holy hell, when I do a reboot, it doesn't work? <laughs> like, what the hell? Isn't that strange? Just... Oh my, oh now this one can turn it on. I'm gonna run some Benchmate, I can run that. Oh yeah, I turned Fastboot off in uh, Windows. Because, uh, yeah, why not? Maybe it will run fine, who knows. Okay, Cinebench, just show you guys that this is working oh, yeah what what is also a little bit annoying is this is this thing this uh, LED uh, RGB program it's very 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 slow here I'm not a fan of that at all I mean it works and it never breaks but it's, it's very very slow I'm not a fan not a fan at all maybe you want to ditch RGB entirely because it, it never works properly on motherboard well it works but th there's always seems to be more issues than you know a lot of issues always apparently it's very difficult to just steer a couple of leds <laughs> well a friend of mine has a software made his own software that does it flawlessly but it, it only it was for linux i believe so okay well let's start this multi-core and let's see what we get. If the CPU is broken or uh, ready for RMA, I should not be able to have like a good score here, I believe, because obviously it's broken. 
you know. But the CPU is doing fine. It's not even getting hot. Where is it? Where is the temperature? See? Score is fine. This is fine for a baseline. But where is my uh, temperature? Oh, here. A1. Well, that's not really... It, it's not even running maximum, so this is pretty good for a 240 millimeter. But why I love Benchmade is to go here, and you can save the result, and you can see here what the CPU is doing. So the score is... Well, not low, but you can see here what everything does. Like, you can see, like, the max core frequency, you can see the atom cores, you can see the memory, you can see everything related, which is pretty, pretty cool. And the ring frequency also, you can see everything. See? 253 watts. So this is perfectly fine, there's no... No problem here. Also the voltage. Sometimes you have voltage spikes. Uh, but I don't have that either. Here. This is way better than on Gigabyte to be perfectly honest. Gigabyte was almost 1.5. So th this is lower. And which is better? If it's stable it's better. Uh, hey, SA is also lower, see? Yeah, that's a bit. The VSSA is very low. Now here. Oh, the SA is at 1.2. Okay, so I think this SA bug is indeed fixed because it changes. On Gigabyte it was always at 1.35. <coughs> and then later... <coughs> uh, later they changed it to something else. So yeah, this is this. This is very nice. This just works. Okay, now some IDA64. This is not a very fast. Uh, you know, it, it's not very fast, 7800. But it's stable. And yeah, stable is more important than fast. I mean, I would like to be, <laughs> I would like it to be a little faster and stable, but yeah, this is. The recording, in my opinion, is better, <coughs> excuse me, than um, placing screenshots, whatever. Here you can exactly see what's going on. And uh, after all this, I'm going to do another reboot. It's like a warm boot, but the warm boot also um, uh, recalculates or um, retrains the memory, everything. And according to people here on the forum, they say this board does a good job in training, so I keep it enabled. So even at a warm boot, it keeps it enabled. But maybe that's a little bit too much training. But I don't know if it's a smart board and it's well designed. It should not give any problems, in my opinion. Because otherwise, why is it there? Why is it the setting if it's causing problems? You have to manually turn off. I mean, this is not a gigabyte board. <laughs> why you have to turn half the settings off because they're too lazy to implement it properly. See, this is not very, 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 very fast. But it works. See, it works. So that's very nice. Now, do this. Oh yeah, and also a mistake I made. I'm here. I had the corruption was policies. And it's right there, but for me, for being an idiot, to uh, turn off Windows right cache buffer flushing on the device to prevent data loss. Do not select this checkbox unless the device is a separate power supply that allows the device to flush its buffer in case of a power failure or a BSOD, whatever. I always, I always have it like this, but that's not a good idea. 
because an M.2 drive, a normal SSD has, uh, I know this because I uh, checked this, has an, a separate, like, a little bit of power left. So if you have something, it's very unlikely that your system gets corrupt because it, it will flush its buffers with the latest, with, that le you know, the least bit of power current in, in it. But an M.2 drive doesn't have this. So if you have an M.2 drive, I would not do this. I mean, it can speed up a system a little bit, but yeah, it's not worth it. Okay, well, that's it. Um, I don't know, what else do I need to... Uh, oh, yeah, here the time... Oh, yeah, I already saw the timings. That's a bit... Yeah, the program is running again, so that's nice. So... Yeah, that's it, I guess. This is my setup. See? No problem at all. And this is the back side. There's the SSD. I tried to tidy it up a little bit. But uh, it's still a work in progress. I mean, I just want the system to work. And if it works properly, then I will tidy it up. Okay, so that's that. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's nothing else to see, actually. I have an RTX 3060 Ti, so... I heard some people, or I read some people uh, talking about RTX problems, whatever, but... I don't know. Maybe it is an RTX problem. Who knows? I don't know. I really don't know. So, uh, yeah, maybe I can test it. I don't know if this motherboard has an... Display port or whatever, I think it does, and if it does, I can, I can check that if necessary. If people want to uh, want me to check that, I mean, it's I can do that. So, uh, yeah, that's it, that's it, and uh, yeah, I will upload this now to YouTube and let me know what your uh, findings are and what settings do I have to change, whatever, and what what this pro. Oh, wait a minute, I, would, uh, I almost forgot. Let's do a reboot. Restart. Let's see how this goes. I almost forgot. Last time when I did this, um, it it didn't do it. Like it keep booting, booting, trying to boot, but for some reason it didn't want to boot. Which is strange because it passed TM5. <laughs> so. And you can hear the fans ramping down. I always have them at 100%. I mean, I, I can barely hear my system. I don't want them to ramp up and down, up and down, because there is no sensor that can actually properly align the fans. So I'm, I'm not very, you know, I just don't want, I just have it at maximum. It's now an open system, but if I ever, if everything works properly, I can close it down. I have a tempered glass and the back panel, and then I don't hear it. So, I think it, it boots. Now, yeah, see? Then, what in the hell? Then, this is the same exact settings. I didn't change a single thing. I changed nothing. I mean, you saw it in the buy. I only changed from the 2T. That's the only thing. Here, here's proof that how, what, what is going on. See, it boots. I think I will turn fast boot on again because this takes a long time. I don't have the patience anymore. And there we are. Perfectly fine at 7800 MHz. I think this is stable. I can guarantee it's stable. So yeah, this is it. I mean, uh, there's still a lot of work to do. But... Uh, yeah, still, I need to do some better hardware info, colors and whatever, grouping, whatever. I will do that later. It, it's not on my priority list right now. My priority is to get this RAM rock stable, if that's even possible for... <laughs> that's even possible. Um, okay, yeah, that's it. Look how long this takes, man. What the fuck? This software is way, way, way too slow. <laughs> this is very slow. Holy crap. What the fuck? I've never seen something this slow. I really don't. People were complaining about the GCC, Gigabyte uh, Control Center. 
but for me it, it most of the time it works perfectly so I don't know rainbow why is it in the rainbow static I don't want a rainbow I like blue see that's how it should be not this rainbow crap I don't like that okay guys well that's it or otherwise I will keep rambling this is the uh, setup again and um, yeah that's it uh, I don't know what else to cover or do whatever yeah this is it well thanks and uh, yeah please let me know what you guys think of it and please do it on overclock.net so it's more easy for me to understand or like it, it's just in general more easy for other people always also to comment on so thank you very much for watching at my pretty long explanation but yeah this is how I understand it and yeah this these are all, these are all my settings and yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one